Hello everyone. Today we are going to read Pluck Pluck the Lucky Little Fish. The author is Guan Sakal. The illustrator is Seng Visal. The translator is Erika Quellar and the publisher is Room to Read. So let's read Pluck Pluck the lucky little fish. One morning, a little fish named Pleck Plock was swimming with his mommy in the shallow waters of the sea. Let's swim in the deep waters, mommy, said Pleck Plock. So who do we have here? We have this little fish. His name is Pleck Plock and he's swimming with his mother, his mommy, in the shallow waters of the sea. Uh, shallow meaning not deep. It's shallow so it's easier for somebody who is learning to swim to swim in. And Pleck Plock wants to swim in the deep waters. So what does his mommy say? Let's see. You have to practice to become a strong swimmer, mommy said to Pleck Plock. You first need to learn to swim in the shallow waters. Then you can try swimming in the deep waters. So what does mommy say? She says, you have to practice. You have to do again and again. You have to try swimming first in the shallow waters. Why? So that you can learn, so that you can get better and become a strong swimmer. Only when you are better at your swimming, then you can try swimming where it is deep. In deep water, it's harder to swim because the water has a lot of force and it's dangerous for Pleck Plock. So his mother tells him, don't go now. First, you practice where it is not deep. Pleck Plock was beginning to get bored. He cried out, mommy, I want to play in the deep waters. Look, all the other fish are having so much fun. But mommy shook her head, no. So Pleck Plock wants to explore, wants to have an adventure. And so he is getting bored in, by, with swimming in the shallow water. So he, he keeps saying, mommy, let me play. Let me go to the deep water. And he sees the other fish in the deeper water and they're having fun. See, here they are, it's shallow, and these fish are where it's deep, and they look like they're having so much fun. He wants to go, but mommy says, no, you're not going now. Black Clock cried out again, mommy, I really want to play in the deep waters. But mommy said, no, Black Clock, I told you it's too dangerous for you to play in the deep waters right now. You still need to practice in shallow waters. So Pleck Plock is really not happy. He's bored and he really wants to go in the deep waters. But his mother again tells him, no, you need to practice in shallow water first and become better at it. And then only you can go to the deep waters. Pleck Plock swam behind mommy grumpily. So you can see his face. He's not happy. He is just making a face. You know, he's just grumpy. He's, he's unhappy with what his mother is telling him. But he's going with his mother. Pleck Plock could still see all the other fish playing and exploring the deep waters. He thought to himself, 
I have practiced swimming enough to explore the deep waters too. So Plek Plok is still in the shallow part and he's still seeing all these other fish that are having fun in the deep water. And so he's thinking that he doesn't want to have a, a swim in the shallow water anymore. He wants to go to the deep water. And he says to himself, he thinks to himself, I, am, I have done enough practice. Now I can go in the deep waters. I want to go and explore. I want to see what is there. When mommy was busy with another fish, Plek Plok took his chance and swam quickly into the deep waters. Everything was so colorful and exciting. So what happened here? When his mother was busy talking to another fish, look at Plek Plok. He just swam away. He swam quickly into the deep part of the water and everything looks so much fun there colorful you know you can, he can see octopus he can see crabs he's never seen all this before and so he's having fun he is excited about it Plek Plok swam farther and farther into the deep waters he was excited to explore so look at Plek Plok here. He's just going. He just keeps going farther and farther away from his mother into the deep part of the sea. And he can see more interesting things. He can see seahorses and clamshells and he can see everything everywhere. And he is having a lot of fun. He's getting excited. And when he is doing this exploration, he's getting further away from his mother. She is somewhere far away in the shallow part now. Then Plek Plok saw something in the distance. I wonder what that dark mountain is, he thought and began swimming towards it. So Plek Plok he is having fun and he's exploring all these new things that he's never seen before. And in the distance, he sees some dark thing there. It looks like a dark mountain. And he thinks, oh, I wonder what that is. Let me go see. And he goes closer to it. What do you think it is? Suddenly, the dark mountain opened its angry eyes. Plek Plok was terrified. Help! Help! He cried and began swimming away as fast as he could. So what happened? What was that mountain? It was this huge fish. And when Plek Plok went closer, the mountain opened its eyes and it looks angry. And Plek Plok is so scared. Oh my God, such a big fish and it's angry with me. And he begins swimming away as fast as he could. The dark mountain was a big fish who was angry at Plek Plok for disturbing her sleep. So it was this big fish that was angry. Hey, you know, who is this little fish that's waking me up? And she was very angry at Plek Plok. So what happens? Plek Plok swam as fast as he could to escape the big fish. So what happened here? Plek Plok is trying to swim and the big fish is chasing him. And he is scared and he is swimming as fast as he can to escape the big fish. But remember, he's still small. He's still learning to swim. And so he can't swim very fast. So what happens? Then Plek Plok saw a small wedge 
between two rocks. He tried to hide. So, as Pleck Clock is trying to get away from the big fish, he saw this wedge, this small gap between these two rocks and he goes in there. He tries to hide there. The big fish tried to reach Pleck Clock using her long nose and her strong tail, but she could not get to him. So you can see here, the gap between the two rocks is small. It's too small for this big fish. And so what happens? The big fish is stuck outside and she's trying to reach him using her long nose, using her tail, you know, she's trying to reach him, trying to get to him, but she couldn't reach him. But the big fish did not give up. She swirled the water around the rocks with her powerful tail. So what's this big fish doing? She just does not want to give up. She's angry and she wants black clock. So what, what does she try to do? She's swirling the water, churning the water. Have you seen like when you take a big, uh, big ladle and you mix up something in a bowl, that's what swirling uh, looks like. It, it's mixing, mixing up the water very fast using some, some tool. And that's what this big fish is doing with her tail. And she's swirling the water, creating waves and the water becomes really strong and powerful at that point. The swirling water was too strong for Pleck Plock and pushed him out of his hiding place. Pleck Plock was so tired. Oh, so what happens as this big fish is moving the water with her tail, that water is too strong for Pleck Plock. He's still small, you know, so he, he's not able to swim in that moving water, in that fast moving water. He's too tired and he is not able to swim against that water. And so he has, he, he comes out along with the water. The water is moving out of that gap and he comes out of there. The big fish opened her huge jaws to eat Pleck Plock. Terrified, Pleck Plock cried loudly, Mommy! So what happened? The fish, Pleck Plock is so tired and the big fish just opened opens her jaws. Her jaws are the part of her mouth where the teeth are and she's opening it ha, like that and she's trying to eat Pleck Plock and Pleck Plock just yells for his mother at that time. Mommy, he's crying. At the last second, mommy came and snatched Pleck Plock away from the jaws of the big fish. Wow, what happened? As Just as the fish is about to huck, swallow Pleck Plock, Pleck Plock's mother comes away, comes there and she grabs Pleck Plock, she, uh, she catches him and pulls him away from the big fish's mouth. Wow, Pleck Plock is safe now. This world is a big, beautiful place, my child, mommy said to Pleck Plock. But you need time to learn and become strong before you go out and explore it. So his mother tells him, this is a very nice, big, beautiful place, this world, but you're still small. You need to learn to swim well first. You need time to learn. And then when you become strong and when you're able to swim well, then you can go out and explore the deep 
waters until then you have to stay where it is safe i hope you enjoyed this book thank you the difficult words in this story are shallow not deep practice try something again and again to get better at it grumpily in a bad mood wedge a narrow space between two sides that is closed on one end swirl to move something around and make it spin terrified very scared try these questions what is this story about what did you learn from the story have you ever not listened to your parents write down what happened